mean, socialism would be pro- probably closer to, given the 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 um, foundations of the United States of America. I mean, saying that 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 is even a possibility in our lifetime is nonsensical to me, right? Like, are you going to get a more social economy? It's already kind of social. They don't like to say it, right? But Americans have a very strong social system, maybe not as uniform and as robust as other places in the world, but they do help, you know, a lot of um, different areas of social strata. But I think, generally speaking, I agree that we are headed towards something. We see the labor participation rate growing bigger and bigger, or, you know, the the lack thereof. And you you have, what are those people doing? You know, somebody needs to look into what their day-to-day activities are. They living off of the food stamps? Are they living off of the financialized market and crypto and thinking that they can make it that way long term? And when that doesn't go their way. What's going to happen to social stability? What is the government going to have to do if there isn't work back for them because they've been out of commission for two or three years? Is it universal basic income, right? How are we going to deal with the obesity epidemic? How are we going to deal with the drug epidemic in the United States? Like all these pro, all these things don't happen through, um, you know, corporate benevolence. They they happen through centralized planning. And there is going to be support, I think, for some sort of government to be able to facilitate that through some sort of targeted fiscal spending. I just I see us going in that direction. And I don't see automation and all the fun things that we're dealing with, right? The efficiencies that we're going to be able to garner when uh, Victor Schwetz had had said last week that you're going to you have a glut of human labor, human capital that's bringing our uh, efficiency down. Once we figure out automation and a way to get rid of all those people, we have to put them somewhere. We're warehousing them, and that's bringing the productivity down. You have to put them somewhere so productivity goes way up. The human race gets whatever they want, but you need to find, you need to be able to finance that. Um, the, the application, and I, and I just though, think of socialism that workforce, is the way it's going to go. And maybe so. Um, I think there's, you know, there's an argument for a, a solid welfare state, whether that's UBI or some some manifestation of that. But we also have the compounding factor of less and less of the workforce actually has the skills to participate yeah. in work that's relevant to the new economy. Mm-hmm. And so you are going to have a larger and larger part of the economy or a par- part of the work participants that don't have relevant skills on top of what's going on in narrow, they narrow also portion. Are needed, like- Correct. We also well, but but right? just so that just so that we're clear, I know this seems like dystopian and all that, but there is I'm super excited about the human race's ability to finally pursue their their uh, hobbies and goals and like if you want to be the best goddamn ping Everyone's pong player, you can now dedicate you can dedicate your life like ten hours a day to being a fantastic ping pong player where you feel fulfilled where you're winning these tournaments and it's like there's this is at the end of the day, I don't, I don't all know. of this stuff I, leads I, I, I to, leads to you of, being able to have more free time to do whatever the fuck you want. And that's not a well, bad thing. You're, all, you're going to be competing with other people who have the same thing. You're going to be no that's, more successful. No, There's but just going to be a bigger exactly, pool. No, but you're you can compete. You're competing and failing the thing you love. Right?